Hi everyone, it's Andrea here from Between the Sidewalks with a four and a half week update of the English Angora babies. A couple changes we've made since last week. We went ahead and took out the nest box just to give them some extra room in the cage. They weren't really using it anymore, so it was really time for it to go. And with them getting bigger, they're going to need the extra space. Um, we also try to encourage the eating of Timothy hay, so we kind of throw that at the bottom of the cage. It's not a normal practice to put hay at the bottom of a cage for Angora rabbit just because it can get stuck in their fiber, cause matting issues. But with the babies being so little and Wanda had pulled so much of her fiber to set up her nest that um, it's not really an issue at this point. Um, and she did a really nice job. Her belly's fairly bare, so that's good for nursing, but it is starting to grow back. Um, and you can see that she enjoys the hay on the floor as well. We usually use these uh, these hay cubes for them. Um, so I kind of threw a couple of those so they're familiar with them and then kind of get the scent of it. Um, it just makes it easier with the angora fiber, but they, the hay is a huge part of their diet. To help with the encouraging of Wanda's coat growing back, I did throw some Dox Rabbit Enhancer. It has a high protein um, supplement in there. Um, the food that I typically use is really high in protein just because it just takes a lot to grow the angora. And hopefully by next week, I'll have a little bit better of an idea of who is a boy and who's a girl, and we can start making decisions of who we'd like to keep and who we're going to rehome. I'm kind of looking at, you know, out of the group who is the best for the breed and then also collecting fiber. That's kind of my next venture is with Wanda. I've had her almost two years now. I've collected about every three to four months. She molts her coat and so I can kind of save that fiber and I have a nice container. So I'm going to start learning to spin and figure that process out um, and possibly make something with it. So that's kind of the whole idea is that we're looking at how to breed and then also how we can use this fiber for us. So I'm a crocheter right now. We'll see if I eventually knit, but that's kind of where we're at. So um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the little babies and check back next week. Hopefully I have some more information about um, sexes and then figuring out final colors for them. All right. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.